Hi everyone, welcome, welcome. I'm Kate and it is day 30 of our 30 days of gratitude. We have made it through 30 days of practice together. So final day is all about celebrating you, all about celebrating ourselves, all those little details that make us who we are Today is about acknowledging them and appreciating them. The action for today is to go out and do something for yourself. It doesn't matter if you think it's selfish, try to work it into your day. And it can be anything. Think outside of the box. It can be stopping to buy yourself that cup of coffee. It can be taking the time to exercise your body. It can be anything, but just make sure that in your day today, you do something that is just for you. For our yoga practice today, we're gonna get on our mats and we are gonna just move our bodies, maybe get a little bit creative, maybe get a little bit funky. We'll see how it all flows out. With that said, grab your mats and let's get started. a comfortable seat, whatever that means for you. I'm a little cold today, so I'm feeling like I want to be nice and compact. So, when you're ready, ground into the sits bones, wherever they are, like me into the feet or maybe onto your mat. Take the crown of the head a little bit higher and let the eyes close down when you're ready. And just start to bring your awareness to your breath. Allow yourself to let the outside world melt away and bring your awareness to that inside world. And I'd like to start today by reading some words, letting them resonate for who you are. I am sincerely grateful and I fully appreciate every detail of myself. If everything that exists in the universe is connected with me, then I am grateful and happy for everything. If life is for me, then I consider this life to be a blessing. Gratitude and appreciation are always with me. I am the light I know how to shine. I always shine beautifully. I am the love. Let the hands come to heart center, palms pressing together, one hand on top of the other. And allow yourself a moment of gratitude. are you grateful for in this moment? Allow yourself to set an intention or join me in the shared intention of celebrating ourselves and allow yourself to move today in whatever way resonates with you. And so as we flow through this practice today, I invite you to go rogue, do your own thing, really feel into your body, if that's what you're looking for. But no matter where, just do what's right for you today. Let the hands come down onto the lap. And just take a few more nice deep breaths.
let the eyes roll open. Let's take some nice sun breaths. Deep inhale, arms sweep out and up. Press those palms together and exhale down through the heart center. Two more like that. Inhale, arms out and up. And then exhale down through the heart center. One more. Linking that breath and movement. Press those palms together down through the heart center. Beautiful. Let's come into tabletop. Shoulders over the wrists, hips above the knees. Go ahead, tuck the to toes for a moment. Press the hips back. Get a little stretch for the back of the feet. This is one of my favorite things. I always tend to do it in my practice. Just really like that idea of stretching through the back of the feet. Feels really nice. Beautiful, come forward, back through center. Keep those toes tucked for a moment. Pull the belly button to spine and then hover the knees just off the ground. Breathing. Fingers are spread nice and wide, maybe pressing into the tops of the fingers. Breathe, start to feel that shake, the core fire up. Let the knees come down, untuck the toes, give the feet a little tap. Right into some cats and cows, drop the belly, lift the gaze, lift the tailbone, inhale. And then exhale, pull the belly button in, drop the head, round the spine. Inhale, come on back through. And then exhale, release. Two more rounds, just go at your own pace. Remember, that's the beauty of the video, right? You can pause or catch back up. Let's do one more round as we exhale. Back through neutral, bring the right foot behind you, ball of the foot on the earth, press that heel back, get that energy flowing through that leg. Crucial step. Pull the belly button to spine, lift that leg straight back behind you. Breathe, add the opposite hand if you'd like. But if not, just stay right here working on that leg. Think about the hips being nice and square. Or bring that balancing element into it, reaching the fingertips forward, thumb to the sky, gaze at the top of the mat to keep the neck long. Nice deep inhale. And then exhale, elbow, knee, knee under the body. And then inhale, extend it back. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale, pull it in. Take a pause. Breathe. And then inhale, release it back. Bring the hand down to the earth. Bend into the knee. Let's take a couple big hip circles here. Maybe three forward. And then go ahead and reverse directions. Really think about the direction of the knees moving, less about the momentum, and really make that movement intentional. Beautiful. Then from here, bring the knee down, but don't let it touch the ground, right? So the knee's hovering off the ground here. And just lift up for one, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. On the sixth one, lift it up. Straighten the leg out, let the leg come down. Move my trusty notebook here. And then press our way up. Fingertips high, exhale down through heart center. Inhale the arms out through parallel, nice deep inhale. And then exhale, open up, reaching over to the right side towards that extended leg. Inhaling, breathing. Inhaling back up through center, and then exhaling over to the left. Great place for a block. So that right hand's up nice and high, or start to bring it on over. The right toes are pointing forward, reaching over. You'll feel a drastic difference in the stretch in the opening here, or at least I do. So see where you're at, see how that feels. Engage the belly button, so pull that belly button in through the core, we're nice and strong, up through center. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, keep that leg long for a minute, and see if you can press back, dropping the heel, the hips onto the heels. So we come down almost into a child's pose with the leg out long. See how that works for you. If it's too much, you can just stay lifted in our uh, 
tabletop posture, but if you can press on back and see where you can press back into. Beautiful, come back up through center if you're not there already, and then just bring that right leg in. Two more rounds of cats and cows, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Come back through neutral. Left leg behind us this time. Ball of the foot on the earth, right? My favorite thing. Press the heel back. Fire up that leg. I want you to feel all the muscles in that leg start to fire up. Then belly button to the spine. Lift the leg straight back behind you. Staying right here or your choice, adding that opposite arm. Bringing that balance into effect. And remember, if you don't want the arm up, you can do that next step by just drawing the knee in, right? You don't need to use the elbow. Nice deep inhale here. And then exhale, elbow and knee meet under the body. Inhale, sweep it out, get nice and long. And then exhale, pull it in. Pull the belly button to the spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull in. Last one, inhale, lengthen. We'll take that pause. Exhale, pulling it in. Breathe, and then inhale, lengthen long, dropping the hand to the mat, bending the knee, those nice big hip circles. So three one direction and then three the other way. You can decide if you want to go backwards or forwards first, just to make sure you get into there. Beautiful. After that third one, we'll hover the knee down by the ground. Little fire hydrant action. Inhale for one, two, exhale down, inhale up, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Pause. Strain out the leg. Plant that left foot so the toes are pointing to the top of your space. Inhale up. Press those palms together, exhale down through heart center. Let's go again, nice deep inhale, arms parallel, and then lean over towards that extended leg. So we're looking for that opening on the right side through the hip, all the way to the fingertips. You may feel it through the armpit. My gaze is tending to wanna to come up today, but you can also take the gaze anywhere, just be mindful of the neck. If you're feeling like you need more grounding, you can take the gaze to the earth. Belly button to the spine, use the core, come up through center, and then exhale over to the right side. And the same thing here, this is a great opportunity to use your blocks. And keeping that left hand reaching to the sky, or starting to play with reaching over. Same thing with the gaze here, I tend to want to look up right now, but sometimes it feels nice to look at that grounded hand, ground the gaze, ground the energy. Wherever you are, just appreciate it, enjoy it. Right, listening to ourselves, doing whatever we need to do today. Then strong through the core, right? I'm barely pushing off my hand. I'm reaching, using those obliques to pull myself back up. And then exhale myself down, hands to the mat. And then that same thing, pushing my hips back like I'm coming into child's pose with this extended leg. Now again, if this is not for you, that's okay. Just stay nice and lifted. Maybe play with pushing back a little bit. And if you can come all the way back, then awesome. See how that's feeling for you. Breathing. Coming back up through center when you're ready, lifting that leg up and in. And then go ahead and just rock the hips side to side. And then from here, walking the hands forward, just about a handprint, tucking the toes, lifting the hips. Let's come into our first down dog. Woo. Bend into the left knee, then the right knee. Get a little back and forth here. Just feeling into the space, letting the head hang for a moment. Maybe some yeses and nos. And then when you're ready, go ahead, roll yourself forward. Wave like spine coming into our plank pose. Take a pause and then tuck the chin. Start to wave and roll yourself back. Downward facing dog. Let's do it again. Inhale, waving forward. Awesome, you guys. Take the pause as we come into plank. Remembering knees can be up or down. Inhale, 
lift the knee towards the chin. You don't have to round here though, just lifting the knee towards the front and then pressing it back. Left knee forward, press it back. Right knee forward, press it back. Left knee forward, I tend to do a lot of abs when I do my own practice. Right knee forward, press it back. Left knee forward, press it back. One more round, right knee, whoo, and then left knee. Awesome, pause in the plank. Now shift the weight forward just a little bit onto the toes, drop the knees here. Hug those elbows in, and we lower halfway down, and then inhale back up. Lower halfway down, and inhale back up. And I can feel my hands aren't in alignment, so I scooch back a little bit. We're looking for the shoulder, the elbows and the wrists to stay nice and stacked. So coming on down halfway, inhale up. These are great modified push-ups to gain strength for our chaturangas. Beautiful. One more. Come up and then I'm gonna push my way all the way back into child's pose. I'm gonna to choose to keep my knees together today, but you can bring the knees wide if you like. We're not gonna be here too long. Just letting the head release wherever you are. Maybe you stack the hands. Find the breath. Come right back to downward facing dog. Again, find your dog, settle in. And then when you're ready, lift the right leg back behind you. Find that three-legged dog. Nice deep inhale and exhale. Inhale, lift a little higher. And exhale, bring that foot in between the hands as gently as you can, right? As intentionally as you can. Setting ourselves up. Inhale, rise up into our crescent warrior. Arrive and breathe. Find your crescent warrior. Adjust where you need to. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, let's twist. Left hand forward, right arm back. Breathing in. And then from here, flipping that left palm and exhaling to reverse our twisted crescent, right? So usually we do this kind of move in um, our warrior two stance. But here we're twisted, we're reaching up, see how it feels, it might not feel great. If it's not feeling great, just stay with the twisted crescent. We only got one more breath. Come back into that twisted crescent, take a nice deep inhale. And then exhale, drop that left hand, place it onto the earth, right onto the twist. Nice, easy twist. Nice, deep inhale. And exhale. And then drop that right hand on the inside of that right foot. Drop the right knee. Pause here just for a moment. I'm just taking a quick lizard pose. Enjoying that. And then lifting those back toes again and walking down the long edge of the mat. Toes will pigeon in. Let's take a nice deep inhale here. And then exhale, release on down. Waking up those hamstrings, coming into a nice gentle forward fold. Inhaling, lifting up. And then exhaling to release. Maybe the hands walk underneath the body a little bit. Taking two more breaths here. We coming into the ball of the feet to try to get a little deeper. Hands under the shoulders, inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, release, put a little bend in the knees, hands to the hips, inhale up. Bring the toes to the long edge of the mat and then point those front toes, the right toes towards the long edge, bend into the knee. Inhale, warrior two. Breathing. Nice deep inhale. And then exhale, come into extended side angle here. 
So lots of options here. You can drop the hand on the inside, keeping that left top arm reaching up, reaching forward. You can start to take a half bind. You can take a full bind, but don't let that top shoulder come down. Sometimes when we start to do the binds, we're reaching, we're trying to get it. Really make sure the shoulders stay nice and stacked if you're going for the bind. If not, just stay nice and lifted in that extended side angle and breathe. Lovely, everybody. Straighten out that front leg. Yes, nice transition. Dropping that right hand down for our trikonasana. Again, really breathing in. And then go ahead and hinge your weight all the way back up through center. Toes point in again, nice deep inhale. Exhale, release on down. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, release. Walk the hands back to the top of the mat. Frame that right foot with the hands and then slowly start to shift the weight back into the left side as we come on to a side plank on the left. You can grab the right toes and start to lift the foot back. You can play around here, dropping that bottom knee if we want to adjust, lifting that floating top leg if you want to add to it. But really think about that shoulder being stacked above the wrist in this side plank. Nice deep inhale and exhale. Plant that right hand, pause in the plank, and then go ahead, just lift the hips, come on back through downward facing dog. Breathe. When you are ready, left foot reaches up, nice deep inhale, and then exhale, step that foot forward in between the hands. Pause, breathe, get yourself set up, and then rise up on your inhale to that crescent warrior. Breathing. from here. Right hand comes forward, left arm goes back for that twist. If you start to lose the balance as we start to twist, right, bring the feet wider. So just bring the feet a little bit closer to the edges of the mat, giving yourself a nice balance. Reverse this if you want, flipping that front palm. Breathing here. Again, this part is not as necessary. If you just want to keep the twist, you can. Sometimes this feels weird on my low back. So just make sure you're being mindful. Make sure you're breathing. Coming back through that twisted crescent, nice deep inhale. Exhale, plant the hand. Nice, easy twist. Awesome, exhale the hand to the inside of that left foot. Drop that right knee. Just stay for a few breaths in this lizard. Just two. Getting into those hips just a little bit. Then tucking the toes, go ahead, lifting that back knee and then walking down the long edge of the mat. Take a nice deep inhale and then exhale, release on down. Maybe this time grab the outside edges of the legs. Make sure those toes are tucked in. Weight into the ball of the feet. It's a beautiful place to take an inversion if you want to drop the head and come into a headstand if that's part of your practice. Just breathing, enjoying. And then when you're ready, hands back underneath the shoulders. Inhale, lift halfway. Little bend in the knees, hands to the hips. Are a straight back, come all the way back up. Front toes to the long edge of the mat, bend into the knees, back toes towards that long edge. Inhale the arms up, find that warrior two. Feet pressing into the ground, shoulder blades pulling together. Really, really active posture. Nice deep inhale. Stay for the exhale. And then inhale, lengthen. Exhale, come on forward again into that side angle. So lots of options here. One more time, dropping that hand, maybe the top hand coming forward, maybe finding the bind or half bind. But again, don't let that top shoulder come in. Keep it nice and square wherever you are, whatever variation you choose today. Don't be afraid to move and explore movement within the arms. 
One more breath. And then really carefully straightening out that front leg, coming into our trikonasana, our triangle pose. Left hand falling towards the earth, a really strong pose. So maybe a little bend, a micro bend in that front knee to avoid it locking out. Think about being really active through the feet, really active through the core. Breathing. And then using the strength of the core, using that core muscle, hinging our way back up, hands back to the hips, turn those toes in, nice deep inhale. With a flat back, we roll on back down. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, release. Walk those hands back to the top of the mat. And then same thing here, framing that foot, getting ready to drop the heels to the right, coming into our side plank on this right side. Again, you can grab the toes and play. You can just step the foot back. Maybe you drop that right leg. I really want you to think about those shoulders above the wrist here in that foundation arm, in that right arm. And again, in whatever variation you're in, you can start to play with lifting that left leg, maybe again, moving that arm towards the top of the mat. Right, lots of options here. Wherever you are, just breathing, enjoying the shakes that might be happening. It's a really strong pose. Nice deep inhale, and then exhale, plant the hands, lift the hips up, come back to that downward facing dog, and breathe. And then from here, let's just drop the knees onto the mat, press back, and take a child's pose. So we'll be in chest pose for a few breaths, but it's a great time. I encourage you to pause the video and just move in whatever way you might need to for a few breaths, a few minutes, however long you want by yourself. And then you can read meet us here in child's pose, maybe a little rocking of the hip side to side. Ready, come on back up, swing the feet to the side, coming on to the bum. And then from here, taking the left leg in front of the, uh, excuse me, bending the left knee, putting it in front of the body so the left foot comes towards this right hip. And then from here, taking the right knee and stacking it on top for our Gomukhasana legs, our cow face legs. Now this can be a really intense so if this is too much, then go ahead and straighten out that left leg and you can bring the right knee up and in. You can cradle that right lower leg like a baby. We're looking to get into that right hip here. So if this Gomukhasana is not in your wheelhouse, it is not a problem. You can get the same or similar sensation. So if you're here, you're really looking to stack the knees and this is one of those poses for me that is just tough. I really feel it. So I like to close my eyes and just breathe into it here. And then really try to focus on letting everything relax in my body. I can feel my shoulders tight. I can feel my jaw clenching. Really breathe into it here. If you know go Mukhasana arms and you want to add those in, you're more than welcome. Or just stay and focus on the legs. Let's take one more nice deep inhale and exhale. And then we'll switch. You can follow me or just switch whatever legs you've got out if you're doing that uh, different variation. Or you can try this kind of funky twist, right? Someone taught me this when I was doing my teacher training and I always liked it. So we're gonna walk the hands behind the body, keep the feet where they are, walk the hands all the way around, Ooh, and our left knee ends up on top. 
and our right knee ends up on bottom. So we're going to notice that one side is very different than the other. I'm sure you can see actually even better than I can. The side difference. Remember, you can keep that right leg straight and hug that left leg in for a variation. And the same thing here. Ooh, I can already feel my shoulders creeping up. Trying to really release and relax into the posture. Remembering you can add those arms if you're there and you'd like it, just reverse your switch. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't even worry. Just enjoy the legs, enjoy the stretch through the hips. Take one more nice deep breath together. And then just slowly unwind, bring the feet onto the mat, bend the knees, feet on the edge of the mat, and just take a little windshield wiper side to side. And then go ahead and coming down onto our mats all the way. You can choose how you'd want to get there. I'm hugging the knees in for a moment. Maybe a little rock side to side. Keeping that right knee hugged in. Left leg comes long. Right knee comes out for a moment. Just opening up. And then bring it way across the body and take your twist. Arms come out to the side. Maybe the gaze comes over to the right. A little passive stretch for the left side of the neck. come through center, squeeze that knee in, let the leg come down long, take a full body stretch, and then left knee up and in, same thing here, give it a squeeze, pull it over to the left side, and then let it come across the body, over to the right, and just take a nice twist here, connect back to your breath. back through center, give that knee a squeeze in one more time, maybe another full body stretch, and this is a beautiful point where you can pause the video, let yourself take a few more poses you may need to complete your practice, maybe take a shavasana, then come back and meet me in a seated position. Let the eyes close down. Bring the hands to heart center. Allow yourself a moment of gratitude. Reconnect to your intention. Or reconnect that, to that shared intention of celebrating ourselves and letting some of those words re-resonate with you. I am sincerely grateful and I fully appreciate every detail of myself. If everything that exists in the universe is connected with me, then I am grateful and happy for everything. If life is for me, then I consider this life a blessing. Gratitude and appreciation are always with me. I am the light. I know how to shine. I always shine beautifully. I am the love.
let those words re-resonate that gratitude and appreciation are always with me. I am grateful for your time, your space, your energy, this beautiful practice of yoga we get to share. Thank you for joining me in the last 30 days of this practice of gratitude. Namaste.